The Obama administration is telling Congress it won't use the word coup to describe the overthrow of Egypt's government at stake more than one and a one half billion dollars in military and economic help and today could bring new trouble. Clarissa Ward is in Cairo Tahrir Square. Clarissa, good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Nora. Well, there is a real sense of deja vu here on the streets of Cairo as this city braces itself for yet another day of massive street protests. Egypt's defense minister, General Sisi, who ousted President Morsi just a few weeks ago, called on Egyptians to come out onto the streets and to give Egyptian security forces, quote, a mandate to confront violence and terrorism. This is being interpreted by many as the beginning of a major crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood, which has been camped out demanding Morsi's release and his reinstatement as the president. That seems less likely than ever to happen now. Egyptian authorities have said they are now officially investigating him on charges related to his escape from prison in 2011, just really ratcheting up the tensions here in Cairo even more on what promises to be a crucial day. Charlie, Nora. Clarissa, thank you.